All right, time to play with some HCVR. The newest update just came out. And uh, guess what? Today is April 1st, April Fools. So we got our usual April Fools update from Anton. And um, yeah, it's time to check out the uh, new toys that he gave us. Ignore that because that's spectator cam. Hopefully it's on, right? Um, I need to do... Yeah, just stick it at one. All right, cool. All right, so yeah, we got our toys here. Uh, let's get started. First one, we've got the Uzi Nano. Look at this little little tiny baby. <laughs> let's grab our magazine. Stick that in the uh, slot there. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. It's a very small Uzi. Let's compare it to uh, the other Uzi. Let's go to classic mode here. Oh, I gotta adjust my headset there. Hold on. Let me see. Submachine guns. Do, do, do. Where are the submachine guns? Uzi, Uzi. Let's go with the uh, Uzi Compact. Uh, just ignore that. I'll talk about that in a minute. But let's go into the light here. Oh, man, hold on. There's something in my headset, like a hair or something that's bothering me. But, uh, all right, whatever. So, here you go, Uzi. Uzi Compact. It's quite... Looks sort of the same. Well, this one's all cut down. But, let's go even smaller. Let's go to Machine Pistols. Let's see, Uzi. There's Uzi Nano. Is it a machine pistol? Micro Uzi. There we go. Spawn ourselves a Micro Uzi. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I think it's smaller than a Micro Uzi. That's why it's called the Uzi Nano. <laughs> oh, man. Whoop. Let's drop down on the ground because this is what we're going to play with today. All right. Let me check out the controls here. Oops. Controller is freaking out. Uh, left on the trackpad is the safety so safe semi and full full auto we'll just uh play around with that let me see if the magazine comes out yep down on the touchpad magazine and of course to chamber around we need to cock the uh charging handle there and uh, yeah open up opens up a bolt nice 25 acp i think that's what the uh the cartridge this uses. Look through the sights here. Okay, cool. Now, full auto time. So let's switch this over to full auto. Pretty cool. There you go, Uzi Nano, really small. Uh, if I remember correctly, this was supposed to be a Sosa gun, uh, or not a Sosa gun, right? Was it? I remember the. Um... Sorry, there's something happening outside. I think they're vacuuming. The dogs are going crazy. Uh, this was supposed to be uh, a contest, uh, con contest entry, and basically you had to shake it to fire it. But I am. <laughs> Yeah, you've got, you know, Anton decided to uh, make it a legit weapon. Well, legit as legit can be. I mean, it's still pretty absurd. It's a tiny Uzi <laughs> cut down. But uh, let's uh, let's actually, uh, let's trick this out. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. Well, you know, we do need a foregrip. Whoops. So we're going to try to stick this on there. Oh, yeah. Yep, Anton was kind of right about that being uh, uh, hard to put on. There we go. Cool. And then Anton said that we could have a stock. So let's grab ourselves a stock here. Hmm. Bakelite? Bakelite might be really good. Let's try this one. 
Although that would be pretty bad for... Uh, yeah, let's not do that one. Let's uh, go with a wire stock here. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that looks... Uh, yeah, no, that looks pretty bad, <laughs> to be completely honest. That's... I, don't, I, I think that um, the stock attachment point might be a little... Oh, let me adjust my headset here. A little bit... Uh, off a bit, but that's okay. It just adds to the uh, cursedness of the gun. <laughs> it's the stock is jutting out at a weird angle. But yeah, okay. Let's fire this baby off. Very controllable now that we've got a foregrip and a stock. Yeah, see the stock is sort of not in in a weird position there. Should be more. To be more straight like that hmm. maybe a different stock might work let's go with something something else let's go with the vector stock here oh there see that works that works fine All right, that's the Uzi Nano. Although I could try to put a suppressor on this thing. Again, it's very, very hard. Let's go back to categories, suppressors. Oh, no, no, actually, you know what? Let's put a, uh, let's put a, let's put a barrel extender here. A rail barrel extender. This might work. Okay, this is going to be pretty hard to stick on there like that. And then we'll grab ourselves a suppressor. Let's grab the Chewungus. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to screw this on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's... That's pretty cool. Let me uh, reset the target here so we can see uh, how good the the, um, the recoil is now. Yeah, not bad. Oh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I, I got the railed uh, the, the railed um, adapter for this, but I didn't decide to put on a uh, sight. Let's grab ourselves uh, this one. There we go. There we go. And you know what? Let's put a laser on this baby. Let's put ourselves a uh, this one. Let's get this laser right here. Oh yeah. Oops, that, I'm in next to my wall. I was hitting the wall there. Okay, there's the center of my play space. Okay. Grab this, put another mag in. Come on. There we go. And, of course, if you want, we can just take the suppressor off. Throw that away. <laughs> I should use the sight. All right, you know what? I put a sight on there. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Losing Nano. Pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's put this away right now. Let's clear up all these empty mags. Move on to the next baby. Uh, we'll get to that one in a minute. But for now, we've got this. Which, oh, I kind of got rid of the ammo for this, but uh, let me just spawn some ammo. I know what ammo this uses, but we'll just use this one, select all type. 12 gauge shorts. Yes. That is a glitch also. If you select hell type, it goes to 12 gauge. This does not fit 12 gauge. This is baby's first boomstick. Which is, uh, <laughs> if, uh, I like, again, Anton. 
uh, said it's a uh, 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 how do I explain this? There, there's a person out there named Commander Carl. He does these cool, sick reloads uh, of you know obviously ordinary stuff. You know, vacuum cleaners, uh, Pringles cans. Uh, you know, and basically, I think uh, if I remember correctly, he, was it him or Anton? They they reached out to each other, and basically they came up with this. And I think this was modeled by uh, Carl himself. So uh, he works in the video game industry, if I remember correctly. I don't know what companies. But, uh, I don't. I don't really know. I mean, you know, history of somebody. Yeah. Not that well. I, I don't really know that well. But uh, yeah. So they've got some skills in modeling, and this is what they came up with. And <laughs> it, is, it is as absurd as it looks. So yeah, this shotgun is pretty much optimized for right-handed people. But uh, I think we can make it work as a left-handed person. Okay, uh, looking at the controls here. Trigger, obviously. No safety. Touchpad isn't used at all. Because all the, all the operation uh, for this weapon is on the gun itself. So you've got a little charging handle here. Obviously. But, you know. Well, I mean, I, I assume that you guys have seen the devlog. But, you know, we have to put bullets in this thing, so... The way to do that would be to Okay, cool. And then you put bullets in. So let's that's four, right? So one, two, three, four. Get rid of that. Huh? Whoa. Oh. That's weird. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there. Well, that's weird. Yeah. That's a bug. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's five, right? One, two, three, four, five shells in that slot, and I only pull out four. Hmm. Whatever. Okay, so. That's how you load that, and let's see if there's any grab points here. Right there. The grab point is right here. Where, yeah, that's actually realistic. You would put your hand like that. There you go. Baby's first boomstick. All well, these shotgun shells just... <coughs> Let's get rid of these. <clears throat> now, I want to see if I can put any uh, barrel attachments here. I don't think so. Also, I want to see if... Uh, let's see if... Uh, I'm going to hold the trigger on this thing. No. Okay. So you have to do it individually. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I always want to instinctively grab it here, but it's it's over here, so. All right, well, baby's first boomstick. Let me uh, see if uh, there's anything else we can do here. No stock attachment point. And I don't think I can put a suppressor, seeing as I can't put an attachment on the front. Nope. But, yeah. Now, technically, you could probably put different rounds in here. The only thing is that there's only one round for a 12-gauge short, which is the number one buckshot. So, I mean, just imagine if we had more rounds for the 12-gauge uh, 12 12 short. You know, you get, like, buckshot, um, slug, incendiary... I don't know what the fourth round would be. Um, Dragon's Breath, I guess. Oh, that's incendiary. <laughs> but yeah, you just imagine if we had more rounds for the 12-gauge um, short. Which uh, hopefully Anton will one day fill out. <laughs> that's that's uh, that, that, that uh, noise. That sound effect, that foley work. Oh. This Well, it's it's pretty good. Oh, you can just do that. Okay, cool. So that makes it a lot easier. 
is to just put your ammo here. Okay, cool. So you don't have to do it individually into every port. Just put your uh, rounds at the top here. <laughs> oh, man. What an absurd addition to the game. Baby's first boomstick. I wonder. I uh, don't think you can, though. Yeah, there's no lock. You can't lock it back. Can you? No, you can't. All right. Well, I was I was thinking maybe you could lock this back and then uh, insert a uh, insert a round into the uh, chamber. I wonder if you can do that. No, maybe not on the table. Let me uh, try this out here. Ah, no, it doesn't work. That's too bad. But it's still pretty cool. <laughs> it's a it's really absurd. Or a weapon. Basically a child's toy mixed with a uh, shotgun. Okay. Baby's first boomstick is done. Uzi Nano is done. Now the last addition to the game for this April Fools. Hopefully I'm still recording. Please tell me I'm recording. Yes. Oh, uh, audio levels too. Uh, oh, well, I'll find out later. But last weapon we have in the game is the USPS Acial. Which is uh, basically you uh, spatial. <laughs> it's what you want to say it, I guess. Uh, basically, a sort of uh, quote unquote race gun, tricked out, little AR-15. But it's not quite, not quite what it seems. And oh, obviously, I need to spawn a, a twenty millimeter. I forgot there was two of these. Let me see if this one... Oh, yep. forgot which ones these are, but... All right, so... And, uh... Yeah, let me just uh, try to grab this one. Uh, again, uh, this is uh, fresh off the... You know, fresh off the presses, so... Something is uh, clearly wrong. This, uh... The sight attachment doesn't spawn correctly. So I don't know how to do that. That will probably be fixed by Anton later on. So we'll just have to uh, imagine that. But uh, yeah, so what is up with this gun? Well, I mean, if you've already watched the... Um, if you've already watched the devlog, you'll know that this is a pretty unique weapon. All right, let me just see if there's any... Uh, any controls here? No controls on the touchpad. No magazine release because there is no way to put the magazine. There is no magazine port, so to speak. Obviously, to open this thing up, this is a break action uh, gun. You pull out the stock. Breaks it open. Let me get some space here. And since this fires 20, 20 millimeter, ooh, look at how wiggly that is. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's unity right there. I mean, there's nothing you can really do about that. Maybe Anton can fix that, but that is a very loose, <laughs> is a very loose barrel. It's uh, probably because it's so big and heavy. So yeah, that's uh. But all right, so this fires 20 millimeter. This is, I think, this is a dummy round. I don't remember exactly why they're different. But yeah, let's close this thing up. And let's shoot it. All right. So to get the round out, oh, get myself in the head there. You just pull the charging handle. And that's how it works. Let's actually try a real round now. I think that was a practice dummy round. Okay. I missed the target, but whatever. That's fine. All right, and that's how it works. And you notice that there are no sights on this thing, so Anton provided us two ways to uh, actually sight this thing. This is the um, <laughs> this is the uh, this is the scope for it. As you can probably see, not really a scope, but uh, we'll see how this works. Hmm, yeah, pretty good. 
All right, need to open this up. Grab ourselves around. Close it, and there we go. Cool. Now the other, the other, um, let's see, the other, the other um, site that we could have used was these iron sites, which are <laughs> pretty absurd in themselves. But again, yeah, for some reason, I guess since this is a just a released build of the of the update, it just came off. I mean, I downloaded it; it's there. And well, I guess Anton needs to fix a couple of things, but. Yeah, you can see you would have put the other one back here and then you would have uh, had some fun with those sites, but they don't apparently work. So that's a shame. Might have to check that out later. But, oops, forgot to eject the other round. Stick that on there. Flip it closed. All right, well, it seems to have some other attachment points. Obviously, I don't think we can put a suppressor on this thing because we've got a muzzle brake here that kind of uh, blocks everything. But we do have some rails, so let's uh, grab ourselves a laser. Let's go with uh, let's go with the uh, PEC-15 here. Stick that on the bottom. No, stick that in the front. Yes. Oh no, it's blocking. <laughs> well. That's, that's okay. Now we can stick it on the bottom. Oh yeah, there we go. That's good. And you know what? Yeah, I kind of understand. Wait, is this backwards? Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, I think I was putting it on backwards, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, it works both ways, so. Well, I, I think it works both ways. I'm not really, <laughs> really sure. It's not really a traditional sort of optic, but... Uh, yeah, it works both ways. Huh? Whatever. I'll put it this way. But uh, what was I trying to say? Since this is uh, not magnified, let's make it magnified. Obviously, <clears throat> we have uh, magnifiers in here, but I think there's only one real appropriate magnifier that this could use. I don't. I don't think this was a um, April Fool's thing. I think this was from one of the uh, other updates with an AK or something. But uh, we're just going to stick this baby on here. Try to, at least. Come on. Okay, nope, that's not going to work. Let's just do this first. Come on, there we go. Oh, no. All right, and then we'll stick this. Ah, that's... That's not going to work. <gasps> oh, it's freaking out. It's freaking out. It's freaking out, man. Ah, uh, it's too big. But then I want to do this. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you know what? I think we can put it here. Let's put it here. That'll work. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll work. That'll work wonders. It's kind of off, but... And then we'll just move this uh, forward a bit. Yeah. Hmm. It might not work. I think that's the top of the site. Hold on. Oh yeah, that is the top of the site, huh? We might need to. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's shift this up here. Rail riser short. Spawn this object. Let's take this off. We're going to make this work. I promise. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a little too short. Oh, no. Why? Well, you know what? I, we don't actually need that. We have the laser dot on there, right? So that should work. Eh, it's a little, a little low there. Oh, that's too much. This one on top here. Eh, close enough. It'll work. Oh, and also, I keep running into my wall. Shifting, but... Uh, there we go. That'll work. This is going to be like the... Uh, 
<laughs> sniper's rifle right from Team Fortress 2. Okay. All right, let's break this open. I think, up. Oh, that's, yep, that is a unfired round. Okay, here we go. You know what? Let's make it a little bit more zoomed in. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Oh, at least I hit the target. It's explosive. You know, it's an, it's, a, uh, it's an explosive round, so you don't really need to be accurate with it. You need to be close. Okay. I think this will be good. Hopefully, um, hopefully my spectator settings aren't ruining things, but yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so fun. Let's do a little bit of one-handed shooting here. Set the target. <laughs> oh man all right well there you go that's the uh you special you special it's a very very special very special weapon oh i need to take off the uh little uh laser there it's you special it's a you special weapon and down the barrel hmm well, there's no obstructions, so we don't have to worry about it going off. And technically, this is a uh, bullpup. <laughs> I think. Uh, some people were, were talking about it. But yeah, since the bullet uh, goes... Like, since the bullet is, is, you know, in the back, and then the trigger is in front of it... Eh, I don't know. That's for the... Um, that's for the uh, firearms uh, fanatics out there to uh, debate, but it is a very weird, funny weapon that uh, is pretty cool. There you go, the U special. All right. Let me just pull out the Uzi Nano here. Oh, <laughs> we don't have a target. Uh, clear. Let's go one meter. <clears throat> oh, well, that's not going to work. That's a terrible idea. Now, if you had two of these, I need to take all this stuff out. We grab ourselves an Uzi Nano here. Oh, did I use up my ammo? There we go. Oh no, oh no, I grabbed the magazine by accident. There we go. <laughs> oh, these things are so... I wish that with, uh, the bolt would hold open, though, you know? But, uh... 
You take what you can get. You take what you get. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Funny stuff. Well, there you go. There are your April Fools today. Uh, I would play... Whoa, that's hanging on there. That's nice. A uh, little feature right there. <laughs> I didn't realize it would, uh, it would hang off the table like that. Due to that, uh, that weight on the grip. Uh, or whatever it's, uh, whatever that's called. I forgot what that stuff is for. Uh, anyways, uh, I was gonna play a little bit more, but, uh, I have to do something, uh, in an hour or so, so I can't really play too much. But, yeah, maybe, um... I mean, Anton probably fixes the uh, site for the uh, you special, you special. Uh, I'll probably check that out again, and probably take out some I don't know so sticks or something at the grill house. But yeah, like I said today, I've got something to do, so I'm gonna have to end this video early. That's about it for today. Oops, I gotta sit down. Now, let me look at this thing one more la one last time. It's just like hanging off there. I know it's not quite on the table, but. <laughs> Oh, man, that's actually pretty cool. Oops. If you just do this, can we just... How did I get that to happen last time? That was... That was weird. Hold on, let me just grab that, and... Yeah, I kind of ruined it by touching it, right? I don't know what happened, but uh, that's about it for today. Great, great April Fools. Hopefully I can get back and, <clears throat> and um, play some more later on. But uh, like I said, I got to go. So I'll see you guys next time.